players and from the clubs that's been called to play in this uh, um, Anxiata Cup 2014 and then at the same time this is a good challenge because it is on behalf of Indonesian playing against Philippines so uh, all the Indonesian doubles always quick they're very good with the defense once again this is uh, they've been playing in a challenge tournament and a, a, a smaller tournament a national championship so this is going to be a good test for the Indonesian newcomers of uh, Kevin Sukamulio and Gideon Marcos Fernaldi. Toss we made here. The, the way in fact, I seem to remember last time out with the uh, in the Axiata Cup, the Philippine pair, the Vivas and Manya, and they certainly they impressed. We've got the warm up here at the moment. Um, whether or not they can see it through to picking up this all elusive first match for the Philippines, I don't know. But uh, the, again, the Indonesians should not take things for granted. They've got to really force their way through and uh, keep playing their normal, natural game. And although I don't think that they've played before, you never know. It will. Uh, I'll have a look at it uh, in the BWF website, see if there has been a head to head. But I can't imagine there would have been. There you go, Sukamulio. And uh, career losses. Nil, 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 nil. Not a lot of information there. So <laughs> that's why, you know, he's just been called upon the, the, from the national uh, local clubs. But of course, with the uh, potential to be uh, playing for the national champion. Or well, same goes to Paul Jeffrey Pipas and Magnani. Both of them 0 0 0 in a, in a, in a career win loss. And as well, 2014. Warm up still going on. Let me just tell you again, and um, hope you uh, don't mind me just explaining that there are lots of other platforms that you can watch. If you're watching on your local broadcaster, either MNC Sports in Indonesia or Global TV Indonesia, Astro in Malaysia. Star Hub in Singapore, BBTV in Thailand or in Hong Kong, iCable, 10 Sports in India. Of course, thank you all for watching on that. But if you have to leave the TV for anything at all, then please go into the live streaming as well. You can go on to Court 1 as well as Court 2 on uh, the cellcomescape.com website. You can also go on to axiatacup.tv. Eversport.tv, WSNT.tv, AxiataCup.com. There's a load of uh, platforms, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as well. Uh, obviously, the Axiata group want to get the message out as far and as wide as possible. So get involved as well in the fantasy badminton program. Play up against Taufik Hidayat and uh, Go Liu Ying. It's uh, an interesting concept. Check it out online at Cellcom Escape or axiadacup.com. Just looking at their performances, the, they went to the Yonex Sunrise Hong Kong Open this year. That was just uh, last week. And uh, in fact, they won in the first round. They beat Chang and Su of Chinese Taipei and then lost out very, very unluckily, actually, to the third seeds, Tian and uh, Bosch. Uh, it was 23 21 in the first. Oh my God. They took. Indonesia. So they have had some really good in the French Open. They got through uh, two rounds as well. In the Swiss Kavi International 2014, they were the winners. And that was, uh, on my left. Philippines, very impressive. represented by Paul Jefferson Pisser and Ronan. Peter Gabriel Mayani. Indonesia to serve, Jidan to Peter, Lavo, play. So here we go, men's doubles. Indonesia back to camera and the Philippines facing us. They look pretty impressive, isn't it? Gideon and Sukamulio. You can't go into a tournament in Europe and win it and not have some kind of skills. Yeah, that's true. Two, 
Ever. It's all action. This great. It's no wonder the people love it. Three, love. Service over. One, three. Out, Just out, yes. yeah, it was. Okay. Service over. Two, five. Two, five. It's Manye to yeah. Yeah. Service Six over. Two. It's all two. pretty frenetic stuff, very flat. Obviously, it's driven by defense as much as anything else, the doubles. Seven two. That's a beautiful lead. Two. And came across so and uh, one, three, seven. tried to basically intercept. He should maybe have left it. Three seven. Just puts it long. So this and four, touches four. it. But the service fault was called. Service over. So eight three. Eight three. A little bit high. Going to be below the bottom rib. The rib cage. Really the equivalent of the waist, I suppose. Yeah, good hit. When it does open up, it's very, very exciting. Four, so they're all four of them been trying to stand side by side and keep their position close to the net. Four eight. That's out. So this over. Nine. Well, I'm just reading about Gideon, the guys who's just kind of serving right now. Just uh, quit or not quit? I mean, resigned from the national champion. I mean, national uh, training center last year. Once again, so politics not being sent for proper all in the championship and everything. So which player was that you They're the one with the blonde hair. With the a, a brownish hair. Gideon. Okay. Gideon Marcus with Fernaldi. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. So that's Is why, you know, I haven't seen him in a while. That's okay. he, he's coming to the club. It's 11-4, it's the interval in the first, and uh, Indonesia have really taken this by a lot of great aggression. They've, they're very active, there's a uh, beautiful bounce in the, in the team. You can feel that they're right up on this. The Philippine, more experienced players, just a little bit flat on the feet occasionally, but they're putting up a good show as well. It's still 11-4 is a big difference. Uh, you all know to the story when uh, yeah. Hendra Stiawan uh, split with uh, Marcus Kido yeah. a few years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the partner that was the uh, Gideon guy, the guy on the right side. Uh, yeah, and he won the French Open. But after that, they were split up again. That's why he was not happy with the decision from the, uh, the national training. It's interesting, and I'm sure that uh, a lot of players who are playing sport at a major level, certainly a professional level, they know that you're expected to 
be on court and use your brain as an individual. When you're off court, you've got to use other people's brains. Just toe the line. It's a very interesting situation. Individuality. And there's, a, there's a couple of guys in table tennis in for China. A little bit like that. They've got uh, they've got their own mind, and you can see it. But uh, obviously, when you're playing for the country, representing the country, everything has got to be very much in, yes. in control. Uh, he's up to rank number 24 at one point. Really? Yes, with Marquis Kido. Gideon is certainly playing well here. 7 14. There he is with the big hit. Good interception. He's huge. He is absolutely huge. What an active play. That is great doubles play by Fernaldi and Sukamurio. was really impressive there. Indeed. Yeah, wow. We, we, were, we have been talking about Gideon, but Sukamurio is doing pretty well too. Sanjaya Sukamurio. I tell you, they are very, very keen to move. It's great, great to see such enthusiasm. They're taking certainly their chance, and that could be out just now. But they're certainly taking their time on the sun. First time we've seen them. This is the fourth day of competition. We haven't seen this doubles pair before. In inside this time, it's 17 8 17 8 Yeah, this is Sanjay, it's a young one, 19 years old as well. So. Nineteen, 19 points to eight, and you know, I think they're certainly worth every single point. Sometimes you get a bit lucky, but this is... Uh, yes, is yes. that a service fault? No, service no. over, 919. 919, but they certainly deserve this position. Court number two announcer is very loud as well. It's a bit off putting. <laughs> you know, they move so well together. Both teams putting up a big, big rally here. The beauty of men's double. Beauty of a men's double, John. It's excellent. Ten, Absolutely nine, excellent. Eight. They were moving seamlessly around both sides of the court. And 10-19 uh, deserved that one. It's 11-19. 11-19. Frenetic is a, is a good word to, dis uh, to describe the non-stop action. It's really good. The tempo, certainly after the women's singles, it comes up many notches. 21-14 then. 
It's Indonesia's Fernaldi and Sukamulio who are in the lead. Hot one, twenty second. Hot one, twenty second. Ita, easy. Second game, love all, play. Second game One, underway, love. and that first error from Indonesia. So it's a false more. call on the service, it's 1 all. Service over. 1 all. Service over. 2 1. Gabriel yeah, with the orange or pink Three, shoes. One. That's a, uh, uh, <laughs> name more of a pink shoes. He shouldn't be talking about his footwear, he should be talking about his shots, shouldn't we? But there we go. Uh, oh. Amusing ourselves. Hey, no, it's not. It's about so footwork. Right? You, know, you, you, you look at the players of badminton footwork, that's extremely important. Stop. Boom. Just long. Just long. Three. Three. Oh. Three all. So Finaldi with the serve. <laughs> This Philippine, I know he missed that one. Four, it's three. pretty good. Yeah, the Divas there missed the, uh, the attack shot, but uh, there's a lot of great interaction here. 4 3 in favor of Indonesia at the moment. Uh, lucky by some guy a shot. 5 3. Service 
pretty ambitious back there. You know, even if it crosses the net, the two big guys there that are going to stop it. What they a play. are so fast. I'm really impressed with uh, some of them. On my notes here, Toro calls himself Kevin, is that right? Yes, this is for instance, Kevin. I mean, uh, you call us go Mule, that's his last name. Uh, he goes by Sanjaya, his middle Sanjaya. name. <laughs> yeah, probably Kevin is too a uh, westernized Western name. name. <laughs> also, yeah, that's what confused me. Hey. Well, that was a Kevin shot. Yeah, 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 I guess that's a good boy. He'll disown that name immediately. Uh -huh. now, just like the play. It's 5-10. Uh, Oh, did it make most of it did. Jammy, jammy, that's 3-11-5. That that's five the break in, in the second game. 21-14 in the first, 11-5 in the second. And the two Indonesian players, I have to admit, never seen them before, but they are impressive. They really move very quickly around the court. And I tell you what, their reflex play in defense is superb. Well, that's what I said at the beginning, that all the Indonesian players, especially Sanjaya or Kevin, uh, on this case, that unknown player plays in the East Java area, probably plays with Jarum Club. He uh, knows what he can do is playing double with a good defense. We all know as well the guy in the left, uh, Gideon, who's a national player, one uh, uh, was partnered with the very known Olympic champion Marcus Guido a few years ago, and now it's out to the elite training Hold center. Then you look at this, uh, are they good? Uh, yeah, they're good. Probably for Sanjaya, the um, elite trainer said he's too small. You know, no, yeah. not power enough for the scout. In, in, a, in a way, I can understand that because, you know, you have to, you've got to have some height to be able to obviously reach, but uh, the top, top players, I mean, Jung Wei is no small thing, and neither is Lin Dan is even bigger, oh. of course. I mean, you are talking about... Five, eight, eight, five, nine, you know? Yeah. I don't think five. Lin Dan is five, nine, is he? No, uh, I don't know. The Chung is probably about five, eight. Yeah, they're not huge, but, uh, you know, they've got to be... Uh, going to be power, a sufficient power height. So the yeah, one, six, thirty. Smarted by the Indonesian duo. Some good defense. So some really, really good attacking options as well. What a pickup that was. Unbelievable. What a great shot. Fantastic. You might even say it's the best pick shot they played. Oh, that was a hand eye coordination. Unbelievable. Whoa. They're changing sides. You know. Look at this hey, one. Watch it. Look at oh, that. Wow. Yeah. Fernaldi. Fantastic. <laughs> Eight. 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 Okay, moving off to the left and uh, a little bit off balance, didn't quite get enough height for the smash, but... Uh, 916. It is, there's a lot of intensity about it. There's some, some really nice moves. Mm -hmm. Great improvisation. I like it. 916. 
Zhongke, the boy from Fujian in China. So we were talking earlier. Is uh, 178. What does that make? A five nine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're talking, of course, about Ling Dan. If you just joined us, talking about that and the fact that uh, some of the Indonesians didn't think that Sukumulio was uh, big enough. That we've just seen him play there. Now it's the smash and the lucky break. You have to be lucky, you don't have to be big. No, uh -huh. <laughs> you're right. You know, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. 18 9. But sometimes lucky is no consistent in lucky. True. <laughs> that one's out of play. We're getting close now. 19, 19 nine. points to 9. Again, Super Mulio. Yeah, they're too good. They yes. are too good. 20 points to 9. They have been super enthusiastic, super passionate about their play. It's now match point to Indonesia. That's it. It's out of court. 21-9 in the second. And, uh, well, we expected a bit more of a fight from the Indonesian, uh, from the Filipinos. They, they come off a reputation of being a champion in an international event in Switzerland, but ultimately they were overwhelmed by some really Best very, very fast players, some 21, extremely 40, passionate 21, and uh, I would say powerful players as well. But overall, they certainly were very good in defense as well. Ah, Great performance by I Indonesia. agree with you. Yes, yes, I agree with you. Sanjaya and Gideon played marvelous. I especially, I really impressed with Sanjaya. Small guy, but he was able to move left right, and showed some power. So, you know, once again, with the so many talents from Indonesian uh, players, uh, badminton, yeah, it's not going to be easy to crack the top 20 of the best possible player. Well, you saw the result there. It's 2-0 there for Indonesia. That's now three matches and 2-0 in each of them. 21-14, 21-9 in the men's doubles. So that's the situation after three matches. Indonesia, as expected, easily in the lead against the Philippines. Um, and possibly the easiest matchup, apart from obviously Tommy Sergiato, where he really did expect to uh, dominate proceedings. That match uh, with uh, Sukumulio and Fernando.